Hello, in this video we are going to talk about visual strategies to pull everything together into an effective one-page report. So in the previous video, Emma talked about laying the foundations for your one-pager, identifying your audience, writing a purpose statement, and really prioritizing the information that you're going to fit into this precious one-page space. So we're going to talk about visual strategies. So I really want to start off by talking about using a grid. So our brains subconsciously recognize patterns. So if things are even just a little bit misaligned, our brains get kind of confused. So using a grid to help make sure that everything is in alignment can really help the brain make sense of what's going on even before it digests the content. So there are a number of different types of grids you can use, everything from a simple two by three all the way to a 12 by 12. And so these different grids allow you to just play around with different ways of laying out your information. Emma and I tend to use the 12 by 12 grid because it gives a little bit more flexibility. So let me show you what we're talking about. So if we have this information that we prioritize, we want to show in our one page report from step three, you know, we can really kind of lay out and draft these different areas of where the information will go. So again, we're just talking like really high, big picture. We think that in this general area will include a header and then a mission. You can see that the mission has only one column where the goals has two columns. And so that's really what the 12 by 12 grid allows you to do is be a little bit more flexible in how you break up your space on the page. So once you have a grid, you're going to draft your layout. And yes, when we say draft, we mean get out your pens, get out your pencils, because we find it best to actually print out this grid. So print out this where you've blocked out your areas and actually just go at it, right? Like you can try out ideas, maybe graphs will work here, large callouts will work there. We just find that uh, drawing it out on a piece of paper can really save time in the end. This way you are trialing your ideas on paper instead of fiddling around with the computer. So once you think you have your, uh, your ideas drafted out on paper, you can go ahead and move into the computer and really start playing around with the images and graphs and text on your computer. So while you're doing that, you really want to think about creating an intentional visual path. So there are so many different ways that our brain subconsciously calls attention to things as readers. So I want to show you these two quick videos as some examples. So these actually come from Tableau eye tracking studies. And so you see in front of you a data dashboard. And what's going to happen is this blue dot is go going to um, come up and show you where the average reader looked at first. So you can see that the reader's eyes, the blue dot around the page, is really gravitating towards large numbers, towards the red graphs. Um, and in some of these gray graphs. So you can see that, you know, in the top right hand corner, most readers eyes didn't even look there. Um, I want to show you one more video that is, is similar from the same eye tracking study. And instead it's going to black out the screen when I start and then it'll reveal where viewers look most often. Oops. All right, there we go. So again, you can see that readers' eyes are really drawn to the blue parts of the graphs, the large numbers up top, and this green area chart in the corner. Right, so from this study, we can really tell that what creates, pe what really captures people's attention are the size of objects, the use of color, and the use of ink density, right? So we're talking about how much ink is in that area, but also is it really dense? Is it, is it uh, really saturated? Is, it, is the luminosity really low? You know, these different things can really help catch people's attention. And you want to make sure that you're using these aspects intentionally to lead the reader to where you think the most important information is first. And then they can read the secondary information next. So when we talk about visual path, we're really talking about the visuals, but let's talk about the text for a second. So we're really talking about a purposeful hierarchy when we talk about text. So again, your brain automatically can recognize these headers as organization or as an organization technique of information on a screen. And in fact, studies have shown that people's brains view the larger the text size as the most important, even compared to the the um, space on the screen, whether it's centered or even if it's underlined in all caps. Studies have shown that, you know, the bigger the text, the more important that people see it as. Studies have also shown that using these visual hierarchies, using headings, actually increases the understanding and the, the memory. You know, people can remember the information better in the end. So these are really important aspects to, to use intentionally when creating your one-page report. 
So finally, I want to talk about white space. So white space seems um, something that you don't think about a lot, but it's really important, right? So here you see we have no white space, so you just see one thing, one blob. But just adding in the simple white space, you can see that there are six different sections. I could add even more white space, and now you subconsciously know that there are three different sections with two mini sections each. So using white space effectively allows your brain to organize the information before it is even consuming the details of it. So allowing more white space in between different sections tells the brain, hey, I'm starting a different section here. So it's really important to use white space effectively throughout your one page report. So in this video, we've gone through different visual strategies into pulling a one page report together. So we talked about choosing a grid, drafting your layout, creating an intentional visual path using size, color, and ink density, as well as creating a purposeful hierarchy in your text and using white space effectively to call out different sections in your one page. So our next video, video four, talks about the final touches of your one page report.